Hi guys. So today I wanted to do a Mac haul for you guys. Um, I have some new shadows and highlighter from the new collection that's out right now, the Extra Dimension collection. So let's get started. The first one that I chose from this new collection is Rich Core. And here it is. I love this color. Let me see if I can give you a swatch. It has a beautiful design in the shadow. And as you can see, it says Mac in there with a nice kind of like a wave design in there. And this is what that looks like. The next shadow that I picked up is Grand Galaxy. It's a pretty metallic purple. Has the same pattern in the shadow itself. It says Mac in there as well. that color right there. It's a nice kind of lilac, uh, purple, metallic purple. And I got Superb Skin Finish. Out of all the colors, I liked this one the best for my complexion. It's um, not too shimmery or, or not too glittery. I can blend it out enough where, you know, I don't look like the Tin Man or Tin Foil. So, yeah. I love highlighters. Yeah. So those were the three pieces that I picked up from this new collection. There wasn't anything else really that was of much interest to me. And besides that, I picked up some shadows. Um, well, let me give you a little backup story. This here is some of my um, MAC shadows. I have about 14 or 15 and some Urban Decay. But I have about, um, yeah, my MAC shadows and it's getting to be too much and as you can see this is where I keep them in this little storage box and um, so I finally decided it's time for me to depot them so I'm gonna give that a shot and so what I did was I went ahead and I ordered the 15 shadow palette I think it's 15 yes It'll hold 15 shadows, and I got this off of, off of uh, Mac's website. I got a 15, and I got a 4 shadow palette, so that I can um, depart my shadows and keep them here in one place. So what I did was I also ordered some new colors for my palette. And the first one is this one. 
and this is cork and as you can see it comes with the magnet on the bottom of the um, pan and it's labeled which is nice so I will be putting that in my new palette and buying it this way is a, a lot cheaper um, a shadow in I'm sure most of you already know but the shadow in this container is what maybe fifteen dollars if you buy it this way it's eleven fifty so I think overall it works out better and um, the next color I got I haven't taken it out um, of the packaging as yet but as you can see you know this is blank type and I am crazy about this color it is so rich and creamy beautiful High, matte highlight, isn't this? Uh, yeah, this this is a matte square, which I think um, I heard someone say on YouTube it's um, more pigmented. So I'm all for that. The next color I got is uh, what is this? Soft brown. And I saw this on, I believe it's Lisa, Lisa D1. She was talking about this and she was saying that this is one of those colors that you do not want to be without. And so I thought I would give it a try. Soft brown. And it really does look like a nice soft brown. And the next color I got is Antique. It's a nice golden shimmery brown, reddish brown like looks like. Antique. And I'm not going to go ahead and swatch these because I don't want to stick my fingers in them. Um, there are so many swatches on YouTube if you guys are interested. So that's it for my MAC haul. This is the box. You know, the, the famous black box and black tissue. Guys, I have a question. If, if any of you can help me, I would really appreciate it. The shadows that I'm wearing today is from this palette that I have had for a few years now and if you guys are familiar with the um, collection that this came out of would you please let me know in the down bar I got this back in the day when I was now starting to fall in love in love with Mac but I really wasn't into the collections so I don't know what collection this palette is from so if you know please let me know I just rediscovered this palette today in my makeup drawer and I, I'm wearing it today. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's a beautiful neutral palette. And I'm wearing, let's see, I am wearing this color here, this bronzy looking color on my lid. I'm wearing this one here in the middle on my brow bone as a highlight color. For my crease I used a Bobbi Brown matte brown blended out in my crease and I don't have that here with me. 
but I can swatch this for you. Isn't that a beautiful color? And this is the highlight. I hope you can see that. So that's what I'm wearing today and I just I'm loving this color. I love not this color, I'm sorry, this palette. I am loving the look that I got out of it today. I was trying to go for that bronzy, bronze goddess look maybe. <laughs> so anyway, my dears, I thought I would share my little goodies with you and um, I'm going to finish up here. This is going to be a whole other video. So stay tuned for that. Um, I guess I can show you guys what I have. And then I'm going to go ahead and depart them over time. I don't know how soon I'll be able to get to the departing. But I'll start them, you know, one by one. And see. But yeah, that project is in the works for me. Um, but that's another video. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening as always or wonderful day whatever it is you know and have a great weekend today's Friday so yes have a wonderful weekend if I don't you know if you don't see me before and until next time bye for now